Hi, my name is Karis and I'm joined here today by Arthur so we can talk to you a bit about Drew Harrison's artwork of the Hercules aircraft. So Arthur, why don't you start by telling us a bit about the aircraft? Certainly, um, Hercules aircraft, yet another iconic aircraft in the series and, and why would it be iconic? I mean, it's 60 plus years of service in the, in the RAF. That's an extraordinary long service life for any aircraft that operates in an operational theatre. Um, medium lift, tactical lifter um, and in forms so many different roles for the Air Force. And is it still in service today? My word, it's still in service. They're based mainly up at Richmond and uh, incredible aircraft. Wow. So what sort of role does the Hercules play? Uh, look, the Hercules is, a, as I said, a medium lift tactical aircraft. So it has a good lifting capacity for moving both people and goods. It also uh, has um, communications roles it plays. But probably most recently, what most people tend to remember are things like its humanitarian roles. We often see it deploying food drops in um, for relief efforts, or indeed, more recently, the White Island volcano disaster in New Zealand. It was actually deployed to help bring back people who were injured for that and as part of the rescue efforts. Wow, that is truly incredible. Um, I've heard that the Hercules can move backwards. Yeah, look, it's, right? it's an amazing feat um, because it operates on and has the ability to operate on short runways and that's why Drew's incredible artwork shows it in Afghanistan and how it can go into those different uh, environments. It has the ability to do what's called reverse taxi where it can reverse under its own power. The interesting part is the pilot can't see behind himself so he's oh. actually got to get out there and get someone out there to oh, have wow. make sure there's nothing behind him. Wow, so, that's yeah. really interesting. Uh, so at the Avalon Air Show, the Hercules was quite the star attraction at the Twilight event. Yeah, look, when we were down there as part of our role with um, uh, helping support that event and as we're supporting Air Force this year in their 100th year, um, in the Twilight event it does a, a particular manoeuvre called the Angel Wings and it releases flares and the vortices off the wings cause a, an angel type wing appearance behind it. People think this is just for show, it's actually part of the defence mechanism of the Hercules to throw off heat seeking missiles. Wow, that's really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> So Arthur, let's take a closer look at Drew Harrison's artwork here of the Hercules. Well, certainly. Uh, so what's this one called? This is called First and Foremost. Um, and it's interesting, the, the term foremost comes from 37 Squadron who operate this aircraft. It's part of their squadron motto. And the artwork, again, as we talked about, uh, is showing the uh, Herc in one of its operational environments in the Middle East um, and how it has the ability to come in and out of short runways and uh, perform in very adverse conditions. Wow, and how can um, anyone display this artwork Look, well, again, the beauty of this is that uh, the person who gets this incredible museum quality artwork can either frame it, they can stretch it over a frame, um, and it will match whatever decor they choose to have it uh, mounted as. Um, how many are there being produced? Uh, so these ones here are limited to 100. Um, they'll come signed and numbered by the artist, Drew Harrison, um, which just makes it really extra special. And when you mention museum quality, yeah. What do you mean by that? Look, the actual canvas, the inks that are used are all, you know, we're talking about lifespans of 75 years plus. Um, this is something you could easily see in a gallery anywhere around the country. The celebrated artist who painted this, Drew Harrison, um, has done an exceptional job. Yeah, absolutely. So this artwork here is 600 by 450 um, and the price for this one is 249 Karis, just like the incredible canvas that we saw a moment ago, this um, true rag etched paper version of the actual artwork, again museum quality, uh, can be framed up, again will be signed and there'll be a limited edition. Do you know how many will be made? Yeah, absolutely. So this one will be limited to 250. Um, the size of this is 600 by 450 and it has a 50 millimetre white border on it as well. Amazing. And I just think it's incredible the way that the artwork has been so faithfully reproduced and no wonder these are museum quality really. Absolutely. So here we have the aluminium version of Drew Harrison's artwork here. So this is three millimetres aluminium and other, I just give it a tap, it really is a solid product here. Oh, look, <laughs> seriously, I think we need to go up to Richmond and have a look at the Hercules parked up there because I think this feels like we've ripped a piece off of every one of them <laughs> to uh, produce this incredible um, artwork. The uh, the quality of it, uh, you'd swear it's a piece of uh, aircraft panel. Absolutely, why don't you tell us a bit about the back of the aircraft? Certainly on the back we've got the uh, limited edition information as well as the schematic of the Herc, um, the Herc as it's affectionately known, um, and again it gives all the information you need for that limited edition uh, item. Um, these items here, our, our good friend Cole Coyne from the Hercules Association, I'm sure if he doesn't buy all these, all these members will. So uh, we'll look forward to seeing how many of these we can retain before they all run away. Absolutely. So this one here is 350 by 262, yep. limited to 250 and going for the price of $169. Amazing. 
Uh, they also come with hooks on the back so that you can display them or stands if you want to put it on a shelf. Perfect. So here we have the medallion version of the artwork. So this is part of the Air Force 2021 centenary range of medallions. Um, so if we take a closer look, it truly is incredible how the artwork has really come to life through mm. this product. So Arthur, why don't you tell us a little bit about the medallion? Certainly, I mean, it's a 50 mil proof medallion. Uh, it's actually a silver plated brass alloy. Um, the actual images are painted onto the surface of the medallion, which gives it that um, proof minting type um, quality. Again, it's part of the iconic series and, and marries in to a large way with the earlier historic series and this one, uh, again, will be so popular. Yeah, absolutely. So these ones here are limited to $500 um, and they're $45 each. So they come with a certificate and numbered as well. Fantastic. Part of the family of products, Karis, we've also got the coffee mug and the drink cooler. Uh, again, you can see Drew's amazing artwork faithfully represented on this particular product. It has information with respect to the limited edition nature of the coffee cup. Only a thousand of these made um, and they will go out like uh, hot cakes. And again, on the inside of the uh, coffee cup is the diagram of the actual Hercules. Tell us a bit about the cooler. Yes, yeah, so again, you can see the artwork here. It truly does look incredible. They are both limited to a thousand and have that printed on the inside as well, um, including information about the artist. So uh, the coffee mug is $15 and the drink cooler is $10.